Hello, Internet. So, yeah. Part 3, my anime collection. So, you know, like I said, got uh, some Neon Genesis, nah, Neon Genesis Evangelion here. And it is a pretty good series. One of my top three. I'm not going to talk. Actually, I, just, I changed my mind because I, I like, there's no reason to talk about Ghost in the Shell. Like, I'll, I'll get to Ghost in the Shell and I get to Ghost in the Shell. So, it's like, we'll save it for later. And I talked about Dragon Ball Z. So, no reason to retread there. But man, Evangelion, what is so good about this series to me is the scale. You have robots that are just like ginormous. And then every other like mecha series, they don't really address this. So it's like, you have, like, it's like every, it, I guess just you feel all the scale in the, in, in the series. Like every time you see a mech, like you feel the scale. And then they also fight these giant, uh, creatures called angels and then they're just as big and but they're even more destructive and that's like the other thing like the destructive the destru <laughs> the destructiveness i guess what i would say so it's like you know people want to say like well i guess i'm not going to compare it to like other stuff but <laughs> cause that would be a, di a disservice but it's like it's like no no other series or film have i seen where it's like you know you you like feel the weight and like the just the awe of like the the robots on screen like like this one because they're um <laughs> it's kind of hard to talk about in like a short amount of time but basically there's they're, they're huge and like they have these and they have to be plugged in and like if they're not plugged in they have, they run off batteries and then <laughs> and like the cables that plug into them are like huge and ginormous and like every time like they like drop to the ground they just like make you know impacts in the ground and shake it's it's great all the effects to like show that but then besides that you have the good <laughs> a good dynamic of characters like the only the only thing i did not enjoy about this is just like shinji's dub because he's always like ah or not not in that voice but he's always like screaming in some way it's just like it can get grating on the ears a bit <laughs> or get old you're just like okay dude chill out <laughs> like but i guess like on the other hand it's like in that situation you'd be freaking out too so it's like it, it's not you know and like who would be who would be calm in a situation where they're in like some giant robot fighting some giant giant creature and they could die it's like you know you'd be you'd be crapping yourself too but then like i guess to add on top of it he's like a adolescent kid so it's like you know even more dad okay that makes sense like he wouldn't react like an adult where they would be like possibly calm in that situation but yeah really really good stuff and like yeah the action sequences are great like when they fight all the aliens and like they're all like different unique creatures and like they have like different unique weak spots and then it's ah there's like this one where basically I'm trying to think, but, like, they have, essentially, to kill an angel, I think you have to, like, kill its core or something, but there's, like, I'm talking, like, the one, specifically, I think is, like, the best one, is the one that they had to, um, like, in sync, kill it at the same, like, or, like, hit it at this, like, at its thingy, in its core, it's glowing orange weak spot, like a video game boss, at the same time, so you had, like, Rei and Shinji, and they were training to do it, I'm trying to think if, like, Rei and, if it was Rei and Shinji, or if it was Asuka and, and Shinji, but, that was a good episode just because you had like this it's basically like you had like two sides of the screen instant going of like them fighting it and then attacking it and it was just i don't know the editing in that it was just like perfection it was just like there's nothing else to describe it because you have two sides that are like they're out of sync but they're in sync because they're you know they're doing the same thing but the actions have to like match and it matches perfectly and it's just <sighs> how they did that i don't know but oh and then you have like some, yeah. I'm 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 not gonna like spoil any of the rest of it, but like there's giant robots, there's aliens, action sequences, weird, <laughs> religious themes and subtext, <laughs> and a lot of political intrigue, and yeah, there's stuff goes down later on. It's like ooh yeah, it just yeah. Every time there's a, or yeah, stuff goes down. I'm not gonna say what happens, but stuff goes down. And it's like oh that just happened. Oh just mm, yeah, stuff just got real. Mm, just. Yeah, very satisfying. Very, very satisfying. One of the best. Uh, wait, is that late? Huh, this says 12 plus suggested on the, on here for Evangelion. But I guess I wouldn't disagree with that. There's not a lot of blood, so... There's a lot of weird stuff in it. <laughs> like, a, like someone has a penguin for a pet named uh, Pin Pin, so, yeah. But I did I did thoroughly enjoy Evangelion. I might keep, I might keep that one, dude. Like, I don't know, you, you can't, get, can't get rid of Evangelion boxes or er, the Evangelion box <laughs> oh here's the uh, Advent Children number two uh, copy I have so this is the what is this the limited edition collector set <laughs> uh, 
designed and created by Tetsuya Nomura, who who was the uh, character designer on Seven. And then until he got like kicked off of Fifteen because he's taking too long, he was like the I think lead director or something on that one. So yeah, apparently there's a bunch of stuff in here from like the back. Besides the two discs, you have like a bunch of uh, what are these <laughs> postcards? Oh, there's a 100-page script. Mm. Some artwork. A uh, side story of each character booklet. Mm. So, yeah. That's in this one. This one's definitely going to, like, not get thrown out, because that's... Yeah, I can't... I can't do that. <laughs> Having children? No. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Big O. Yes. Big O. Another... This... I gotta say, this was, like, a really cool series. I saw it on... Uh, I, I picked this up after I saw it. Well, not after. Like this is like probably like, years later because I got it for cheaper. After I saw it on a uh, Cartoon Network, Toonami. But it was just really cool because it's like a different, like a very different mech series. Like you have, you know, uh, the investigator dude. Is his name George? I can't. What's his name? Roger Smith. Man, it's ah it's so good. Like him and Dorothy, who is his like robot companion, and like the butler dude. I don't remember his butler dude's name. I'm not gonna. It's whatever. But like. It's it's like it's really it's like it's just it's so different like it turns like the Meg genre uh, uh, okay I'm not gonna like say all these weird things about it, but like it's ah it's just so refreshing I guess because you had basically this dude who's an investigator who like follows these things and like you have this whole like city or world full of people without memories and like they don't remember what happened and you have like they live in domes and then oh wait no I think it's like just the rich people live in domes so it's like you know. It's, it's very, it's like thinking about it now, it's like I haven't seen it in a while, but like all the themes are there as far as like making it like relevant now, because you have like the 99, or not the 99%, but you have like the 1% <laughs> who live in like the domes, everybody else is like in the wasteland, and they're all like <laughs> filthy peasants, <laughs> and then you have like Roger Smith who's like trying to like get to the bottom of this, of like what's going on here, why doesn't everybody, why doesn't everybody remember anything, of like, you know, suspense and intrigue and mystery, it's like, ooh, what's going on, ooh, what's going on, and then like, I don't remember what's going on, so I like, now I'm looking at this and I'm like, I have to rewatch it, because like, I remember it being so good, and then like just it gets super weird, and it's just. But then you have like these cool, but like yeah, mech fights with like Big O, and it's just like ah, uh, ah, uh, just. It's a classic. It's a classic. I don't care anybody says like, Big O, Big O Showtime, yeah, and then you know, they they call it like a weird name too. But yeah, man, Big O. <laughs> and apparently Big O has a, a second season because Big O too, so. I need to watch these, dude, because, man, big O, just, ah, uh, I'm, I'm rewatching these, but I'm not keeping these cases, because they're very, nothing on them, <laughs> especially this one, this is just a picture of the mech, whatever, I don't remember what's in the second season, unless the first two are just, like, in, unless it's just, like, part one and two, I don't know, whatever, no, these are, these are both 13, 13 episode arcs, hmm, interesting. All right, I had I pulled this one out, but I forgot to talk about it. Um, Mobile Suit Gundam 0080, 0083 Stardust Memory, another really good one. Like I, yeah, this one, I love the. <laughs> it's got a cheesy intro, but I love it. Where it's just like, I'm not gonna. Some okay, I I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sing the whole thing, <laughs> but it's like do 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 do. Do, 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 do. I just have it, yeah. Do, 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 And then, like, in this one, it's cool, because, like, you have this, this, you have this Gundam, right? And, like, throughout the whole, like, thing, they're, like, making modifications to it. So, it, like, basically, the way it is at the start is not the way it is at the end. But then you also have, like, this cool scenario where you have, uh, like, nukes, nukes get thrown in. Like, you have, like, one that can, like, launch a nuke. Because it has, like, this specific launcher thingy to, like, launch them. And it, like, has, I guess, a few of them. But I don't remember... It was cool. It was neat, but then it's like kind of weird because you have like it shows like the hubris and like the uh, what's that word called the hubris and the uh, arrogance of the Federation because like there's a scene where it's like something happens, but it like it could have been prevented had the Federation just just like actually treated the threat that is there as a threat and not been like whatever dudes they've got a nuke we could care less blah 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 now let's have our space parade <laughs> and then they just yeah things don't end so well for them that happens oh and then like yeah man it's like the threads in this one the threats in this one are so good because you have basically the the zeon have like this really bad attack that they do on the federation and then you think oh that's like the long play that's their goal but then it's like you see that they have you know even more machinations in the works as far as like 
getting back at the Federation and attacking Earth. It's it's good. It's good. To me, it's like this one. Well, I guess we already like know the classic, you know, Mobile Suit Gundam, like really good ones. Like, but like this one, Oath MS Team, and Double uh, Eighty, really good. Like going into like the Universal Century and like looking at the characters and the setting and just like, you know, just how they tick the Federation and Xeon and just like stories of that stuff. Good stuff. Uh, oh, here's another mech. <laughs> this one, I, I, I don't know why I bought this. I think I just bought it because I liked it visually, like back in the day, Pilot Candidate. So this was on Toonami, I think, for a bit. It's, it's not very long. It's got a few episodes, but uh, it's got good potential, but it's, I would ultimately say it's like three-star material. It's, it could be better, it could be worse, but it's pretty, pretty average and mediocre, but it's a mech, so I, like, Apparently I was really into into mechs. <laughs> I'm trying to think like why I bought it because that's like it must have been cheaper on sale. Like that's that's got to be because Pilot Candidate. It's like I'm thinking to myself I'm like it's not not a very like good. It's not not one of the best animes because your your style is uh, lacking here. Oh man. Okay. Speaking of my, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so here's here's a couple of ones I really like. So Gans, man. This one. This I saw this. This after I saw this one, dude. This basically changed. This changed my whole perception of like what an anime could be. After I saw this one, because it was like <laughs> I'd seen anime that was like violent or like graphic and gory, but this one, it felt like you know it was it was it wasn't. I mean, it doesn't like do anything like worse than anything I've ever seen, but it just like felt like the like the tone it sets was actually like it's like it's violent and like gory for a reason, and not just like to have blood and gore in it. So. But then it's like that's the, but like that's the cool thing is like I don't see a lot of like anime that does that. But then it's like in the Western entertainment, I would say it's probably like done more so. But it's like it doesn't seem like it. It's like yeah, like it does it, but it doesn't need to go there. Where it's like if I saw this and it's like okay, I could like see why they would need to go there and do that. But essentially in Gans, which is <laughs> let me get to the point here, but like what it's about or whatever. But like you have uh, this giant orb that you can see that that's the Gans ball, and basically everybody that's like. <laughs> Everybody that's like in it basically has died, and they come to this room that they're summoned into, and they have to go through this. Uh, what I describe it as, I, I guess it's like a hunt of sorts, because you have these creatures that you're supposed to kill, but you don't really know that because it doesn't tell you. It tells you, you know, this is your target, and, <laughs> and it like insults you and it gives you weapons, and like all these things are like you know used, but you have like no idea because it just says, it's like yeah, like that's the thing, like it's an orb, and then like on the screen. Of the, or on the orb itself would like project like a an image of like okay well this is your target go kill your target and then like give them guns and then like uh, armor and like it'll like open up it's pretty cool the way it does that and then um <laughs> but then like everybody had, like had just died so they're just like okay where, where the f am i and i can like see out of this room but i can't get out of it it's it's really cool i i, I just enjoyed the, the 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 concept of it and then like you have them hunting down these like creatures and stuff and then, uh, but then, like, once you, if you die in the Gantz game, and there's a lot of death in this one, uh, I think that's the other reason I like this one is because it's so dark. It's like, and like, everything else I'd like seen up to this point had been like, you know, friendship, adventure, yeah, save the day. And then I saw this one, I was like, ooh. So, yeah, it's like, <laughs> I haven't, I haven't seen Attack on Titan yet, but like, from what everybody tells me, it's like, I would see, like, this is probably like, you know, if I, if I did see it and I saw it, like, I enjoyed it as much as everybody else does, I would like probably compare this to that, but. This is only like a couple of arcs, and like it doesn't. I don't think it stays true to the manga, but the manga gets all like super weird. I haven't read it, and it's like, eh, whatever. So, hopefully, they like redo it again, or just like, I, see, that's the annoying thing is like at the time this was made, like the, the manga wasn't done, so I would like like them to go back and like finish it, but it probably won't happen. But this was so good. It's only like two seasons too, so it's you know, season one and season two. But I I thoroughly enjoyed Gans. It was a bloody good time. <laughs> a lot of uh, craziness. And then, like, that's your thing, it's, like, just, like, uh, Genshiken was, like, a slice of life, as far as, like, you know, living in Japan, blah, 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 if you live there. It's, like, this is, like, the same thing, but, like, from, like, a, a skier, like, a, like, a different perspective of, like, that. So, it's, like, you have a bunch of people, but they're not all, like, happy, oh, I like going to school every day, blah, 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 you get to see, like, the, it, yeah, it's, it's pretty dark, dude, because it's just, you have, like, people in that society, but it's, like, I'm unhappy where I'm at, and then... I'm not happy the way things are going, blah, 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 so that was cool, a bit of, like, the under underworld underbelly that you don't get to see in the whole 
Oh, isn't it great? Japan, Tokyo, wee! Just, just an urban utopia of peace and justice and fun times, blah blah blah. But um, yeah, Gans, Gans definitely changes that when you, when you see it. These are pretty good boxes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get, the, get rid of these. Also had boobs in it, and then like <laughs> up until I'd seen this one, I hadn't seen a lot of anime where it's like, oh, there's boobs here. I mean, it's not true. There's, I've seen like a couple, but this one had like. Okay, it had like it had boobs and sex, and I was like, whoa, because I didn't see that before in anime. I was like, whoa, it went, it went there. So that was that's the only one reason I like that. I guess I like that. Oh no, that doesn't, that's not the reason why I liked it. But after, after I saw that, I was like, oh, well, that was. But then like it had a cool story and like other stuff too. So I was like, you know, it was it was more than boobs and sex and violence and stuff. It's like yeah, like 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 yeah, dude. It's like it's what trade seventeen a TV MA. So it's like yeah, hit all hit all the marks. <laughs> no, everything hits, hits all the marks as far as like oh, why is this oh or like. I don't know. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't pandering. I guess is what I'm trying to say. It wasn't just like oh, one note of like a bunch of explosions or a bunch of people getting shot or a bunch of people getting sliced up with swords or a bunch of yada 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 boobs, whatever. So it's like it's like yeah, you know, good a good balance of all the weird things. <laughs> <laughs> well executed. Whatever. Whatever. Um. So this is Samurai X collection. So. Let's see, I think this is, I'm trying to think, there's like, uh, Trust and Betrayal, Reflection, so yeah, this is a condensed version of Ruining Kenshin, I think they also call it Samurai X, which is why it says Samurai X on here, but man, this is, this is really, really good, like, I haven't seen Ruining Kenshin, I have it on my Netflix Insta -Q, Instant Queue, and I mean to watch it, and they just came out with like a live action adapta adaptation, so I, I really need to get on that, but after I saw this, because I had not seen it yet, and I think I saw this before I saw Samurai Champloo. Probably. And all the other Samurai stuff, like Samurai 7, and, well, those are the two main ones. But I saw this one, and I just, like, fell in love with it. I was just like, wow. Like, because, like, for the longest time, I'd people, like, heard few people talk heard people talk about, you know, Kenshin and Samurai X, and, oh, it's so amazing, oh, it's so great, blah, 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 blah. And then I finally sat down and got to watch this, and, like, man, it delivers. Like, it is, yeah, definitely in the top five, like... <laughs> Okay, I can't say top five, because I already put, like, three in the top five, and, well, damn, I'm thinking, okay, why have a top, ah, I'll, I'll get to that later, let's not worry about numbering them, but this is up there, up there in the top, it's really good, really well done, Feudal Japan, you got Kenshin and his, like, reverse style sword, he doesn't kill anybody, he used to kill people, he's like, oh, I, I don't kill any people anymore, and then, ah, just amazing, amazing sequences of action, and fun times in Japan, adventure, friendship, romance, yay! <laughs> Okay, this is actually another three-star uh, series, Zone of the Enders Complete Collection. Like, it has a OVA on here, which is ori original video animation, which is basically like straight-to-video movie. Sometimes it's like a condensed version of a series, sometimes it's not. But this one has one of uh, Zone of the Enders, and it's really good, called Idolo. Then, like, <laughs> that's like really good. <laughs> and then the series is just, I mean, animation-wise, it's it's good, but the story, the character is just, ugh, it, the robot... There's a dude in it that sings, I think, a bunch. It's, I don't know. It's just the, the, t the tone of it is completely different from the, the OVA. And then as far as, like, the actual story and the way, the way stuff goes down, it's just, ugh. Like, I, yeah, I did not like this one. Like, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I got this one for cheap, too, though. So it's, it's, it's you know, it wasn't a waste of money. But then, like, you know, the OVA is great. I don't know. It's really, it's really fun and action-packed. Well, it's not fun, but it's, it's good and action-packed. It's really good. And then the end, there's like if you haven't if you don't know what that is, it's basically a video game series in space where uh, giant mechs. Another mech one. Oh, so apparently, <laughs> going through these, I, I do like the mech series. I'm I wasn't like I hadn't looked through these to be like oh I wonder what I take my taste gravitate towards. Hmm. But it looks like I am the fan of the mechs. So but yeah, Zone there's it's okay. Like it's not definitely three out of five. The OVA is really good. The series itself is very forgettable and just not good. So I, I'm trying to like think right now. It's like I don't remember. It's like there's a there's a weird robot that's got like a program. Right, right, the egg is like programmed as a as a woman, and then you got this dude trekker. Well, he's not a trekker in space, but you know, it's like a transport driver in space. So and they have some adventures, but it's not nothing to remember. Nothing really good or um, super awesome. So 
Yeah, but we're at 20 minutes, so actually I'll just go ahead and hit the start stop button early this time. And so I'll be coming back after this with part 4 of my animated collection as I talk through all the stuff and how I feel about it.